You know, I never really understood the whole, like, uh, first thing. You know, cause a lot of people love doing the first thing, even though no one cares. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, 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 just pointing that out there, you know, you know. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Sup. Sup, yep. Sup, Sean. Sup, that guy. You're a squid. Sup. Brody. Sup. Mr. Memes. Sup. Captain. How you doing? Hello. Hello. Harambe Ghost. Hello. Cute Pikachu. Hello. Zay, Zay Gamer 18 hello, Hayden, hello, Pirate Boy, nice music, oh, thank you, thank you so much, I should, that's right, I should, I should put some music on, hang on, hello, hello, it's becoming a thing now, I mean, it's been like that since the beginning of YouTube, I don't know if becoming a thing is, is the same as seeing first, uh, let, let me, many choices available for lunch or toothbrush, and it can be, uh, not a toothbrush, I don't know why I, I have that there, okay, well, Let's uh, let's uh, go to a different. <laughs> uh, let's see. Overwhelming uh, to find a good choice. Let's see. Epic. This is my guide to help your search. Royalty free. These picks might not be for you. I don't want to know about electric toothbrushes right now. Uh, let's let's go with uh, let's go with uh, some some nice music. Let's go with some nice music. Some nice epic music. You guys hear that? Yeah. Hi, 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 Bendy the Dancing Demon. Hi, Brody, I think I already said Brody, I'm not so sure. Hello, hi, how you doing? Service, AT&T, how you doing? How you doing? How are you doing? Welcome all, welcome all, welcome all. Epic music, right? Yeah, pretty nice. You guys can hear, right? The epic music. Oh. So nothing bad happened right there. So nothing bad happened right there. Hmm. Hmm. By the way, uh, if any of you guys are playing um, on your phone, uh, Lineage 2 Revolution, as that's the name of the game, uh, go ahead and join the, the clan called Wrecked. R E K T Rekt Rekt Clan. I'm trying to get new members. It's a new, it's a new MMO game. If you guys want to play that, uh huh. We are, we are automatically the number one guild in the entire game. So, uh, <laughs> you might as well, um, you know, download it. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if some of you were here before. Some of you were here previously in the. Uh, Sponsored by the mobile game you just mentioned. Yep, yep, sponsored. Totally sponsored. Uh, well, not sponsored, actually. If, if I say that, I can get arrested. Um, let's... Uh, so I won't say sponsored. <laughs> wow, that game's ever... Yeah, because it's new. That's the reason why the game's ever... So it's a new big game that, that's... Oh, really? The freaking thing already came out? The, the game just came out, like, five days ago, so that's why everyone's playing it. Let's go with, uh, no copyright music. One hour session. Ooh, that's perfect. The music is okay for you guys, right? I don't know. How you doing, Joe? Hey, Tony, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just doing some, uh, some, some unity. So, for those of you who, who weren't here last time, uh, some of you guys were here. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys were. Some of you guys were here for the SCP or the freaking this, this, this uh, unity thing that I'm making. Uh, it's a project. Not necessarily uh, um, SCP related, it's mainly just more for a sci-fi room, but uh, it could be used for something. Um, um, so, pretty much, yeah, if, if, you guys, uh, if you guys like it, you know, I guess we'll just play this little scene. It's, it's not a game, really. Honestly, just, just telling you guys here, it's not really a game. It's more like just a demo reel. A demo reel. It's more like just like a little scene. It's a little scene that I got going on. I gotta, I gotta make more scenes and stuff. I'm still not fully done. It's, I still got a few things here and there, but for the most part, most of the stuff is done. I've gotten most of the texturing. The rest of the texturing I kind of half-assed, but most of the texturing is, is mainly done. Uh, so we have that. Oh, that's why I need to do that too. Hopefully you won't. Hopefully they won't notice. 
I don't see much of a problem. I'm not seeing. This actually looks real good in my opinion. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> you see, when I was thinking of like SCP, you know, like I said before, this isn't really something SCP related, but it is something that, because uh, this, this is a project that I'm using, I'm doing right now. Uh, looks better than Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh, th oh, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Although that's not really that much of a compliment, being that Andromeda is exactly the best. It's not exactly the best. But like, uh, actually, oh, oh, that's perfect. Hang on, let me get um, let me get a uh, ambience. Hang on, actually, let's let's uh, uh, let's see, space ambience, space ambience, or spaceship, spaceship, ambi, ambience. I want to get some creepy spaceship ambience on this. Uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Now that's better. There we go. Now imagine that, guys. Oh man, set a spaceship. <laughs> oh, that'd be crazy. Space, yes. Is the aliens reference here? Oh man, imagine hearing that. Oh, that'd be freaking creepy. Nice music, yeah. And it also, yeah, this, um, when I was making this, I, I, the, the main things I focused on for inspiration were, um, were, uh, uh, one, Doom, the, the new Doom game. I freaking love the design and everything, it's just, it's very beautiful. Uh, it's very, very nice, like, the, the space and the, the, the structures and all that stuff. And also Alien, have, have you ever seen the, the movies Aliens? They have these types of hallways and stuff like that, and it looks super cool. Um, and basically, like, a lot, a lot of other stuff, uh, a lot of other sci-fi-esque uh, stuff, and, um, when it came to the door, the door was also something a little bit more inspired by Doom. Because, you know, like, it, there was this one part in, in the new Doom. It was, like, the giant open door. And you don't know what's behind that door. And all that stuff. So. It's pretty much what I got right now. Pretty much what I got right now. Like I said, this is not, this is not a, a, an actual game. It's not, it's not an actual game. I'm not going to be adding in the NPCs or anything. It's just going to be a little walkthrough thing that you can pretty much walk around and uh, maybe like... Because I, I was also thinking that like maybe I should add in something where like maybe you could like press this and it'll activate that door over there so you can actually like, you know, open up the door and go inside the door or go go through it. Uh, but for now, this is just a little project that's just... It's just making a scene. It's not like a, it's not like a game. It's just, just how how capable I am of making a, a scene. Um... And hopefully it runs good, because right now it's running pretty fine, uh, but like for other, because I have a high-end PC, so that's the reason why it runs fine, but for others, I don't know if it'll run fine. Anyway, this would be a great, it'd be awesome to have like rooms like this. You've been to every live stream? Have you now? Tony, you sure about that? Are you absolutely positive? Because I haven't seen you uh, before. Maybe I have. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'll sell it for forty bucks. So you can get this game. It's for forty bucks. Forty bucks. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Oh, obviously by the by the bloom effect. By the bloom the bloom effect itself is at least fifty bucks. But I, I'll sell it for forty. I mean, just look at that bloom effect. Oh, so good. Oh, no other game has this. This bloom effect. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not fully done. I still got a few things. This is just going to be a, a little stream. This is going to be a... You got it looking and running good. Have you done this all by yourself? Yes, I have. Um, everything they see here is all done by myself. Uh, the only things that I haven't done are the piping that you see. So some of the some of this piping and the piping on the walls and stuff like that, that's a that's an asset that I got from Uni, uh, because for this project this project wasn't really you're supposed to do pretty much everything by yourself, but you can get uh, assets from the from the store. So I, f I found on the store I found these assets, which were these uh, these pipes. So it was, it was just the, these pipes that I got, but everything else that you see, all this stuff, and the piping down here and stuff like that, all this is uh, everything done by me. It was just these pipes here. And also the smoke and everything, and yeah, pretty much that's, that's exactly what's going on. I've got a stats, I can see that. The rendering. 
getting uh, 60 frames, but then again, it's already it's always fluctuating around that. That doesn't really change in anything. So that's also good. You remember that from the last live stream? Yeah. Yeah, the last live stream all I had to do now. The, the, from the last live stream, what I did was I, I textured the entire environment. Um, I textured the entire environment. I changed up uh, these things. These things now they have like glowing and stuff like that. I, I, I changed the model. I, I, I replaced the model with this model uh, because I didn't like the other model. I made this model a little bit more, I guess, futuristic looking. I don't know. It looks it looks better. Definitely looks better. I can still probably improve it, but I'm not going to because this project is due tomorrow. Uh, but for for majority of the stuff, like the the textures itself, I kind of half-assed around here in this area. But uh, the other textures, I mean, they, they look they look relatively fine. This is, still hasn't been modeled. I might actually delete this. I'm not too sure. Um, or not modeled. It hasn't been textured. So. So far. So far, what other textures are going to be add apart from the guy textures? Um, the guy himself, I don't need to add in because uh, uh, it's just a he's just a he's just a model for you to walk around in. He's just a character model for you to actually like walk around the environment, and get to, get a feel of the the actual like scale of everything. Um, so we don't need to basically. It's the the main the main focus of this project was just for the lighting. It, it focused heavily on the lighting, and I hope the lighting looks pretty good. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the the lighting? Because uh, the main focus of this project was just the lighting itself. And trying to get the mood, you know. The mood of a very, you know, creepy, uh, if not maybe very cool looking, I guess, environment. So are you a Class D, Joe Legends? Am I a Class D? Am I myself a Class D? I mean, I, I don't think so. Otherwise I probably would have been arrested by now. Probably would have been arrested. Oh, I love that ambience. The ambience, it sounds so good. And if I get a... Let me see if I can get a... Let me see if I can get a... Uh, what do you call it? A... Uh, same assets... Characters, first person... Let's get... Let's get a first person camera in here. Prefabs, first person. Let's go ahead and put the first person here. Let's go ahead and decrease them a little bit. Let's see if that's good. Nope, still way too big. Okay, let's decrease that even more. Okay. Yeah, it's a little better. So you get a feel. Although this one, oh yeah, that's right, I, I forgot to add in the, uh, that looks pretty nice. Like, one of my favorite parts definitely is, is this. Just this whole feel of just this huge room, and you can, like, you can look down, and it's just like a, a pit, and it was down there. You got this up here. I'm gonna put more pipes on there, so it's just pipes going down. Kind of like, uh, that, that, that reminded me of, um, what game is this? This game is made by me. It's not, it's not a game, it's just a scene that I made. This is all made by me. Um... If I can, like, because I, I would, oh god, I can jump really freaking high, what the heck. But, like, yeah, I, I, I would, uh, I would put more pipes down here, because it keeps on going down. But, like, uh, my teacher, he has, like, a virtual reality, like, HTC Vive, so we'll go and, we'll take the HTC Vive, and we'll, we'll put it on, and then we'll actually get to see our room inside the virtual reality, which would be so freaking cool. And I can look around, probably place myself, like, right around here. Oh, that'd be so freaking awesome. Oh, that'd be so freaking awesome. Oops. Let me delete that. Let me delete that. What are you saying? One criticism about the lighting is that it reflects differently on different models, but in but in an unrealistic way. For example, the shininess on the door compared to the walls. Oh, I get you, I get you, I get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the, the door is a little bit more shiny than is, is that what you're saying? The door is a bit more shiny than the uh, than the walls. Is that what you mean? That's what you mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I think I get you. I think I get you. Yeah, because uh, like um, the thing about it is that like the 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 reflectivity. Actually, I could actually change that too. I could probably I could probably change that. 
Um, cause so like the, the, the walls themselves, I was trying to go for, I, I'm not entirely sure exactly what, but like, it's like kind of like a metal, but same time, not really. Um, cause this is sort of like a smoother metal, but at the same time, the reflectivity might be a little bit more reflective compared to the walls. Uh, let me see if I can probably, is it, are, are you saying that like it's too reflective? Like the wall is too reflective or the, the door is too reflective or something like that? Like it looks, it looks unrealistic you're saying like that like uh let me see if i can show this if you can get like a sort of an angle has the door is a bit shiny oh i get you i get you i get you let me see let me see how it looks uh Try to get a. Uh, where is it? Asset. Circular. Lambert. Yeah, I made the door a little bit shiny. Um, if I can. Door diffuse? Is, is that it? Uh, I think that is it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, compared to like how it was before, like where this is just super shiny, the door. <laughs> oh man. And then if I. What if I, what if I make the, the environment? So let me if I can make the make the door just a tad bit less shiny, and then what about what about what about the environment itself? I could probably uh, where's the environment? Table textures, materials. Is that? It? So make that more shiny. Can I make that more shiny? Oh yeah, I can definitely make it more shiny. Big time, more shiny. So I give that more shiny gloss to it. Maybe everything will start, will start to look a little bit better, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. You don't know what's behind that door. Maybe it looks worse. I'm not too sure. Let's see if I can like. Can I, can I go back? Yeah, there you go. So we're gonna take the shininess out of that. And the tiling and everything like that. Okay. So then basically, one of the, the things is I actually need to get rid of. Just need to get rid of this. Uh, yeah, let me. What is that? That's the flare. Let me actually delete that because we don't need that right now. Uh, one question: Could you play Dead by Daylight, Freddy Krueger? Uh, I don't actually have him, but if you guys, if you guys seriously want me to play Dead by Daylight, yeah, I could play that. Or I could, I could buy Freddy Krueger, and I can. Uh, I can, um, what do you call it? Yeah, I can buy Freddy Cougar and I can, uh, download it. And I can play it on the stream. So for these pipes, I can... It's a little dark. Let me turn off the lights. So if you turn, if you turn off all the lights, just like how bland everything looks. And then when you turn them back on, it's just everything else, the mood changes completely. Well, that's the reason. That's what lights are for, duh. Uh, let me see. Let me try the... Places there. There we go. Place that. I'll place that one down there. You won't be able to see them. However, you will be able to see something else. Let me. Can I make another one? Yes. And then I rotate this. So basically, yeah, I'm just, uh, what am I doing? Positioning at 30? Positioning it to minus 30. Okay, and then this rotation will be... Mm. 
90, okay. And we'll just put this guy right here. We'll actually shrink it a little bit. This will be put uh, right here. There we go. Now we have some sort of pipes going through. Let's go and get this one. Let's go and duplicate that. Put that down there. Let's go and get some more pipes. That one down there. Let's put like that. So then the more we look, the more we can see that it goes down. Okay, so now we go back and do that. We take that. Okay. And then, yeah, we can kind of see that there's just pipes going down. Oh, that looks super cool. I like that. What do you guys think? I like that. You have to go? See ya, Tony. It's alright. It's alright, I'll just be here. Don't worry, this uh, this live stream will be um, continued on. It'll be, basically, it'll be on my my channel. I don't know why, let me just put that. Put my thing like that. Ah, there you go, that's better. If I were to keep on... Okay, there you go. So then... So this is the first scene. Everything's normal. It's, uh... Yeah, everything's pretty much normal. Except... Do I need that? I don't think I need any of those. No. We should be pretty much done with this scene. So, yeah. Just gonna save it. Save the scene as... Scenes, environments, underscore normal. So now we have. Never mind. We don't do that. Let's save it as just normal instead. Normal. There we go. Okay. Let's. Go to normal. Let's go ahead and delete those two. And basically what we're going to be doing now is that we're going to be creating uh, another scene, which is going to be a sort of... Hmm. How are we going to do this? We have to create a scene that's sort of like... Hazardous in a way. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I get, I, I get it. I get it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to create a scene like this, and then we're gonna have uh, an animation. So we're gonna be animating the lights. This reminds you of Star Wars The Force Awakens when Han Solo got killed by Kylo Ren? Really? That's interesting. I guess that kind of makes sense with like this like long walkway. Kylo Ren was right here and Han Solo was right here. <laughs> yeah, I guess in a way that kind of makes sense. Okay. Okay, so I need to... I need to, I need to, I need to... Um... Where is it? Animation. Animation. We're going to create a new animation. Create. This is going to be uh, flashing light. One. And we'll save this in. 
create a new folder. We'll call this folder animations. There we go. And inside that folder, we will create flashing light one. Okay. So then the way we're going to do this is that we're going to... Uh, it's going to be 60... So it's going to be one second. 60 frames. So at do that... Was it G? Was it B? To create a frame. Okay, four. And then we go to 30. They will set the intensity to zero. And then we'll set the intensity back to four at that. So, four. So it's a basic flashing light. Yeah. So now we have that. Okay, thank you so much, Jasper. Jas perfect games. <laughs> so now all we gotta do now is just uh, add that to every single one of the, yeah, it looks good, okay. So I'm just gonna add that to every single one of these. I don't want to create. I want to. No, I don't want to save over that. How do I? How do I? Can I just animation? Uh, can I take this and put it here? I can't. Uh, how do I do this? How do I do this? Okay, I guess I did it? Yeah. And then for this one. So I can do that for each individual one. Do that. So then if I press play. So now we're getting like flashing lights like that. That's gonna be yeah. So so what I'm planning to do is that um, I'm creating three different scenes. I'm creating one scene, one scene which is normal. The second scene is basically this one where like everything's flashing. It's a kind of like an emergency mode. And then the third scene is where everything's kind of like destroyed. Things are flashing. You know, kind of like screwed up. Um, so yeah. Uh, so we have that. So okay. So let's go out. So if I click on all of them, will that make it so I can do that with all? No, that'll only do it with one. Okay, not really much of a problem. Don't let me see light. We have this light here, we have this light here. We have this light here. This one will have that. This light. I basically have a lot of lights to basically pull this up. I'm pretty sure there is a faster way to do this, but I don't really know. Um. Oh, actually, in fact, you know it'd be better. Ooh, you know it would be better? Oh, okay, yeah, I got a better idea, I got a better idea. Instead of them all flashing like that... 
Instead of them all flashing like this, we'll have them each flash individually in a way, like like each row. Since there's three rows, they'll all flash like um, at a certain pace, so that it looks like it, like the lights are leading to somewhere else. Okay, that's that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Perfect. I have an idea. I have, I have a brilliant idea. So we have those. That'll be the first light. And then we will uh, we'll keep that one as that one. And then let me go back to animation. Let's go ahead and how do we delete? How do we get rid of? Uh, create new clip. We'll call this one flashing light two. Okay. And then flashing light two, what that will do is that will, uh, how we can do this? Um, So that one turns off at 30 seconds. This one will turn, okay, so this one turns off on 30 seconds. This one will turn off at 40 seconds? Or not 40 seconds, but 40, 40 clicks. And then this one will turn off at 50 clicks. And it'll turn on it. How do we make that, how do we make that? How do we do that? Oh, um, how would we do that? We would. So the first one's thirty seconds. Okay. So second one will be at yep four. at four and then let's go to 40 this one will be at zero so that means this one can't be this one has to be a 10 And then the last one would have to be at um, the last one would be ha would have to be at four again. So the way this plays, no, no, <laughs> no, that wouldn't make sense. Would that mean that I need to make this? Sure, I'm really bad at math. <laughs> I'm really bad at math. Uh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to, basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make uh, each individual light. Basically each row will light up. So like this one will light up, then it'll turn off, then this one will turn off, then this one will turn off. You get me? So it's kind of like a like a wave of light. It's kind of like kind of like a wave of lights um, going through that leads to pretty much this hallway. Instead of everything just turning off and then turning on and turning off and turning off, I want like like a wave of lights, like to turn off. So like this one will turn off, and this one will turn off. This one, then this one turn. Off. Then this one will turn back on, then this one will turn back on, then this one will turn. Off. But it all needs to be uh, perfect. Um, you get me? So I need, I need, since everything works on 60 seconds, or 60 clicks, which is one second, um, I feel like I need to make this 70 seconds, but then that doesn't make any sense. Um, um, what is he doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Samples. Let's go with 70 samples. And then we make this. This is it. This is it. Gonna make that seventy. Okay, so then that should work.
Let's see if that works. I can barely tell the difference. Okay. Um. Let's actually make it 80. And then let's set this to 50. And we'll set this to 1 to 80. And then we'll set this to 20. So at 20 seconds, yeah, yeah. At 20 seconds, it'll go. Compared to the other one. So then these lights will have this. What? Why is it? What? What if I don't want it to be? What? This has confused me, sir. Because those are all turning off at the same time. So then that means, yeah. That's not correct. That is something else. Um, okay. Okay, no. It's not what I want. Uh, let's try this side. that one so put this here put that there uh, we will put this one here put that one there We'll put that one there. Okay. Now let's see if this one works. This one should work. Yeah, there you go. That one works. Because that one didn't have any pieces to it. But why is, why is this one... What could it be? What could be the problem? What could be the problem? Let's try that. Let's try that one. Boom. Okay. So then these need to be these. But why aren't they? Maybe because they need to delete them. Hang on, let me see, let me see. Uh, which one's this? Yeah, which one's this? That one's 14. Where's 14? 14, you're gonna die. Okay, delete you. Yep, delete that. So now that one doesn't have any action. Which one's that? That one's 11. Okay, 11, delete you. Uh, you are 8. 8, 8, 8, 8. There you are. You're going to die. Die, please. There you go. There we go. Now I'm getting it. Delete you. Which one are you? 12. 
Time for you to die. There you go. You're dead. You've died. Okay. Now we press play. Yep, perfect. Perfect. It's a space ambience uh, thing that I'm playing right now. If you're, if you're trying to get the the sound and stuff like that, that's just that's just from a uh, that's just from the game. Oh, not from the game, from the from the space ambience I, that I just did. Uh, okay, let's go with that. So this will be two. This one will also be two. This one will also be two. And then I gotta create a third one. Animation. This will be light, flashing light three. And then this. This will have, let's see, that one had 80 samples. This one will have 100 samples. And we will start off at 40. Right? Yeah, 40. We will start right there. So with this... Oops. Actually, no. We need... We need this. Oh, okay. There is a problem. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. So that's the problem, the only problem. I mean, it's not really much of a problem. It's just that we need more animations for this. Okay, All right, that makes sense. That is understandable. Which one was this? That 4.5? Why is there a flashing animation light for that one? What? Damn. Okay. Flash animation 3. Let's delete that. That'll stay the same. This one is... Point to light. We'll delete that. Okay. Huh. Okay. So... Uh... Okay. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so this one will be main light. So we'll call this animation. Let's create a new animation. Create. Can I create animation through here? Animation. Yes, I can. Flashing light underscore main. So what this will do is basically I'm just taking 100 samples, I'm gonna start it, copy that, we're gonna go to 40. What? Why is the intensity at six now? What? That doesn't make any s what? Huh? You saw that, right? What? What? Think, what? Yeah, yeah. Let me let me let me go back. Let me go back. Forty. Oh, I can't go back. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, damn it. Oh, now it's at four point. What? Why is it? Oh, that was the range. Oh, okay. I'm stupid. Oh, okay. 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 That makes sense. That's the range. Don't get the range in the freaking... 
<gasps> Did I get those mixed up? Oh no. <gasps> oh, I think I did. Oh, I think I did. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, never mind. Everything's fine. Crisis averted. I thought I did something bad. But that's okay. So we got 100 samples. Let's go ahead and redo this again. Let's go ahead and start the animation. 40 samples. We're going to make this. Copy that. So we have that. Which is that. What is this? We go to 70? Ten, twenty, thirty, okay. Ten, yeah, seventy. At seventy, we make that zero. And then we go to a hundred. Then we make that back to. There you go. Okay. So now if I play that. Okay. Okay, and then main thing. This is main two. So we create another one. Main two. It's gonna be the same thing at a hundred samples. But the reason why we're creating a new one is because this one has a different intensity, so we always want to keep the intensity at the same space. So intensity, there you go, copy the intensity, change it back to zero, change that back to that, and we move it to 40. Then we go to 70, change that to zero. Then go to 100, change that back to, there we go. Hmm. Okay. And then these are. Well, these I can set them to two. No. Yeah. Yeah, I can set them to two. Uh, yeah. These guys right here I can set to two. Same thing with that. I can set to two. And then did these get an animation? I have no idea. This is one, that's one, that's one, that's two, that's two, that's two. And then this is two as well. Okay, there you go. So now if we press play. We should probably make that into...
No, I should make that. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, let's change that again. Let's keep on changing it. Ah. Hello, this is MTF. Hello, MTF. How are you, MTF? Let's go back to animation. We're actually going to set this back. We're not going to make it. We're going to make it 120. Can we take this entire thing and can we move it? Sixty, and then the same thing with this one. Change this one to one twenty. Then we take that, move it to sixty, because these. These ones over here, which is, which one's this? This one is light 12. That one's light 12. This one is light 15. Nineteen. And sixteen. Delete that one. Okay. So we gotta create another animation. Let's go to that. Window animation. These will be like three. Okay. And these will be 100 samples. So that, that way I can do this and add them in. So these guys are. 0 0.3, okay. Set them to 0, and bring them back to that. Okay, and we have to put these at 40? I think so, right? Yeah. Set that to 0, go back to 100 now. And then set that back. Ooh, there's a creepy sound that just came up right there. There we go. So now all we gotta do now is just place this third one here. That is it right here. Yeah, it okay. So now when we look at it, okay, perfect. I wonder if there's a way to change the admission for that, though. Hmm. And then for these, I can just put them as the mains as well. Actually, no, I can't. I probably could, though. Just pop it in. Ye ye night gel. <laughs> Thank you so much, Muffin Man, again. As you can see, I'm working hard on this. Been working hard on this thing. Thank you so much, Muffin Man, again, for the donation of $2. Thank you. Everyone knows who Muffin Man is. He is the donator of the year. Pretty much, Muffin Man is the greatest person in the universe. Thank you so much, Muffin Man, for the $2 donation. Okay, so... We got that, we'll put that there as well. So let's see if those work. Yeah, I mean, the lights in the background kind of gives it a little more disorienting in a way. It's a bit more disorienting, the flashing lights. 
But that is the point. <laughs> Muffin Man again. Thank you for the two dollar donation again. Damn Ren, the greatest person in the universe. <laughs> oh man, Muffin Man. Muffin Man, Muffin Man. Greatest person in universe. Muffin Man, Muffin Man. Okay, now how do I... Let's donate a hundred dollars to him. Thank you, Mr. Memes. Thank you so much if you want to donate a hundred dollars to me. It would definitely help out. I would get an HEC Vive right away. Okay, so let's go ahead and... So the light... The admission light, I don't think you can edit that. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think it's possible to change the admission lights. Uh, standard assets, Maya, assets, materials, circular light, um, global illumination baked. That four dollars was all in my bank account, and I was fired. Muffin Man, you were fired, and you gave me money. What? What? How could you do that? How could you do that? Money comes first. YouTubers last. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Muffin Man. But and I will use it well. I will use it well. <laughs> Yeet. Oh man. <laughs> so the admission light for this. Can I turn off? Turn off. That's what happens to it. But. I can't animate that. Hmm. That is a quite interesting conundrum. Yeah, does it look like does it look like kind of like a wave in a way? It kind of looks like a wave in a way. Away, even away, in away, in away now. Looks better. Yeah, I think it looks better. Kind of like this is sort of like an emergency lights. Everything's flashing. What? There's, no, there's gunshots now? What are you talking about? What's going on? I honestly don't believe in anyone um, unless you were to tell me exactly where the location is so I can like look it up see what's going on but uh <laughs> so we have that okay and then these lights here So what I can do here is I can do this light here. This light will be, if I go back, go to scenes, no, animations. This one's 160, this one is, okay, so if I do that, what if I do this? To light number four and to light number five. Hmm. That's what happens. As expected.
And these lights were gonna go crazy. Okay, so we got number five. Where is five? Five like that. Then we have four. So still leave that. Okay. Let's see. Um, yeah, okay, that looks probably fine. Okay, so how are we can do this? So we got this scene. Um, shoot. Ooh. Oh, you know, in fact, I could, I could, in fact, get rid of this one. Yeah, 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 I can get rid of this. Have this here. But instead of a point light, I'm going to make it a spotlight. Have it as a spotlight. Pretty much this is going to be rotating. Um, how will it look rotating though? Let's make it a little bit more reddish. Bump up the intensity to about it's about a four. And then how will that look? Okay, that'll look perfect. Okay, so then now we got the animation. Let's go and get the animation out. Animation. Let's go make this uh, spinning light. Spin, spinning, spinning light. And then we'll create that. Um, we'll do that. So it'll be at zero. Then all the way down to 30 or 60 seconds or 60, you know, whatever. It'll be at 360. All right? Okay. Do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is not exactly. Whoa, that is not what I wanted. Whoa. <laughs> not what I wanted. I wanted Y. That's what I wanted. Okay. Zero. You go here. I want it 360. Okay, there you go. Oh no, my atmosphere. It went away. How does it? Nah, I don't like the atmosphere. I like this atmosphere again. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So then this. Let's make it 120. What? Why would it take even longer?
And then what else? And then for the samples, we need to go to curves. How is it supposed to be? Okay, let's see if that works. And then we can change these to be a bit more reddish. change these to be a bit more reddish. So we get kind of like a red alert type of thing. So red alert! Red alert! We have that. So this is sort of like an emergency mode. Doesn't look as good as, as needed, but, you know, whatever. emergency mode and then disaster mode will be the next one which that one will be the most fun that will definitely be the most fun at least I could do the same thing here again um. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good, good, good. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that in. Now we have that, we can do that. And that. Okay, so what I want to do now. What the hell did I just do? What I want to do now is I want to... And alright, sci-fi going on here? Let me actually, let me see how the heck, where's, there's plane. So what I want to do now is I actually want to edit the mesh plane so that it's... So whatever you're standing on. planes will be in the same height ratio yeah and then we'll just go ahead and we'll just decrease this one Just 
increase it like that. So all this stuff here is basically the stuff that you can walk on. You'll see in a few seconds once I actually get it. Some people are kind of interested in this type of stuff. But you have to realize that, yep, it takes a while. It takes a lot of time and effort. Lots of time and effort just to create something like this, pretty much. Um... So, let's see. Why is that? Oh, that's why. So we have those now, and we can also fall off to our death. And that's perfect. You can fall off to your death now. So pretty much this is just the walking range of all the places that you can walk through. Before you could, you know, fall off, or you couldn't fall off because everything was just a plane, but now, now you can actually fall down and die. Or not die, you'll just fall infinitely, but, you know, you get the gist. So then what I can do is I can then create more planes. You would make them sort of like, you know, 90. Okay, and you would rotate this to you would rotate this to zero. And then you would make this the wall. Yeah, you would pretty much make this the wall. So they can't hit the wall. And that's pretty much how invisible barriers are created in games. Cool, huh? There you go. And that's why every single time you hit a freaking wall in a game, you're like, what the hell is this? Well, that's the reason why. And then all you have to do is just make these invisible, and boom. You got yourself an invisible wall. Through the modeling, what engine are you using to create this game? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, everything was modeled in Maya, and I'm putting it all into Unity. And it's also not a game. It's just a little scene. So we got that. We'll go ahead and we'll just rotate this again. I'll make that. What is that about? Thirty. It's about negative thirty. Right there. I'll just do that. Let's 
since this wall is kind of like that. Kind of want the other wall to hit it. To be a part of it. So there we go. Hopefully that's good enough. I doubt people will be freaking hating that. Let me put this as negative 60. Uh, negative 60. Uh, this one is apparently a little bit bigger. How was this one? Was this one? Oh, this one's completely covered. Okay. So we'll just make this 90. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. How does that look? Does that look good? Okay. We'll make that 90. There you go. Rotate that, put the other side. Pretty much all the areas that are white, if you hit it, you will pretty much hit it, meaning you can't get out. Or you can't you can't go past it. Okay, so Yeah, I doubt we'll hit the pipes. I don't really need to place anything on the pipes because you know, they're just pipes, you're not gonna I mean you will hit them, but like, you know, you'll just go right through them. It doesn't really matter if you land on a pipe or not, you're just gonna go right through it. People wanna fall off, they'll fall off and die. That's that's their own regard. When I say people, I fucking don't even mean. Like I I'm, I may put this out, you know, I may put this out so you guys can like test it and just walk around. But that's really all there is to it. Is just walking around. <laughs> Pipes. Pipes! That's all it's about. Pipes! Doesn't matter about anything else. Just pipes. Pipes, 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 pipes. Okay, there you go. And then we'll do the same thing over here. That is about how much is that? It's about yeah, two ten. Two ten. Got that. Put them right there. Put them right there, and then pop. Anyway, so now we got that. Oh jeez. Oh god, everything looks so weird. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be. You're not gonna be going through this wall definitely. This wall you will because there is nothing there. Oh, okay, so that's the reason. So you can go through on one side, but you can't go through on the another side. Hmm, okay. That could be very useful, actually. Ah, okay. That's a really good tactic, actually. You put a wall, invisible wall there, and like, if you want them to not... If you don't want the player to go back, a certain area, you'd put that invisible wall there, and then they turn around, they can't go through. They won't let them. Ah, oh, that's actually really... That is a neat tactic. Okay. Neat tactic, neat tactic. Okay, we got... Set this to, I think, to 70. No, not 270. Probably 280, yep. Let's 
Still not 280, maybe 290? Two ninety, indeed. Seventy, okay. And then that should be good. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Okay, so for this wall probably want to use a cube. Yeah, let's use a cube. Game object, 3D, cube. And then we'll just set that as 30. No, not 30, negative 30. Okay, there you go. Since this wall is much bigger, we actually need something to, you know, to grasp it. Okay, there we go. And then all we gotta do now is just expand it. Boom. Done. With that. Let me just do it again. Boom. Done. It would be easier, like in Maya probably, if you were like creating the map and then you actually uh, put in the things, but you know, that's just me. I'm stupid like that, so. Okay, so now we take all these, we go ahead and we, actually, no, it's not fully complete. The reason why is because we need, um, yeah, it's not fully complete because we need more cubes. Ooh, okay, yeah, yeah. For the railing, that's what the issue was. Do it again, and they get 30. Are the walls supposed to be invisible? Are the walls supposed to be visible? You're talking about the, the white, the white walls? Yeah, they're they're not they're not supposed to be visible. They're um they're just there to, to tell me. They're there to tell me when or where uh collidables are. Because everything in this map is non-collidable, except for all these these white squares. So you would place them all around the map so that when you are pretty much done with all the stuff, you would uh, you would take out their mesh renderer so that you can't see them. But they're still collidable. So basically this... This would be pretty much... Now I want to see if I can even jump over this. Or if I walk over it. I'm not I'm, I'm too sure. Let's see. So yeah, pretty much yeah, everything that's white. Yeah, you can't hit... You can hit them, but they won't... You won't be able to, you know... Go through. So pretty much, yeah, this one I'll be able to go through, but this one I won't because there's a thing. But can I jump over it? No, I can't jump over it. Ah, okay. Oh no, maybe I can. Can I? Oh, I can. Ha! Huh? You can. So then if you can, that means... Whew, you can jump on top of it. You can somehow manage to jump on top of it. Ah, there you go. <laughs> okay, perfect.
the thing about it too is that you don't have to be exact because it's such a little thing that like your collider is gonna hit it anyways. So you don't have to be super close to it. You just gotta be close enough. Close enough. Okay, now I just drag that one over here. To this one. Probably just crease it just a little bit. There you go. Close enough. And that one. There you go. Close enough. I'm gonna bring this one all the way down to here. But this one, I'm just gonna shrink it a little bit. Let me actually put it right there. Shrink it down. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. It's the Jimmy Neutron style. I don't know why that song is stuck in my head. Jeez, wow. I watched the Jimmy Neutron movie recently. <laughs> the original one. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's the Jimmy Neutron style. God, I loved that movie back then. When I was a kid. Why is it reflecting? That's super weird and cool at the same time. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy. You don't know who Jimmy is? Um, excuse you. But Jimmy Neutron is the greatest person in the universe. That right there, we're going to, yep. There we go. The railing is almost complete. i bring that one over there. Yep, that one's good. Bring the railing all the way down here. And that one's pretty good too. That show was amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. That show sucked. That show was beautiful. It was the best show in the universe. The best show in the universe. No other show topped it. No matter what show. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter about your opinion. It's a fact. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and test it out. I don't think oh yeah that's right we need the we need the biggest part which is the freaking door the door is like the most important freaking piece of this okay so now if we go back Okay, so we got the railing here. All this stuff. We can go through. And then we can jump down. Whee! There we go. There we go. Okay. So now we just take all these planes. Oops. And then we uh, mesh renderer all of them. And boom! Let's take this one. I surrender. And there we go. There we go. Now everything is all. So now I can hit this. It won't allow me to go. All those of that's here. I won't be able to go through. Everything. I could go through that though. Uh, yeah, that's true. Let's 
see if I can make that jump. Hup. Ah. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Kinda pushes you half and away because it's just too small. <laughs> the collider is way too small, so your guy kind of freaks out a little bit. So yeah, so let's add in... Actually, in fact, no. Let's go over here. Let's test this out. Then we have the door here. We can't hit the door. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now we got that, and then we gotta do the last scene. Can I make a empty? I'll call this um, colliders. Okay. Take all this. Take all this stuff, and then we just drag all this into colliders. Where is it? There it is. There we go. So now we have the entire section of colliders. Which then I can copy myself and then I can put it inside here. So let's go ahead and get... Um, another cube. So you can't collide into this. Or so you can get collide into it. Okay. Get that and then boom, yep, there we go. Nice and easy. Is that side, that side. Increase it a little bit, so now it's just contained pretty much inside a box that you can't touch. Okay. That is inside colliders, okay. There we go. So then, uh, now let's save this scene as... Let's go to scenes, we'll save this as... Uh, warning. Okay, there we go. It's the warning scene. So let's go back to normal scene. So that warning scene, we have normal scene. Okay. So then can we paste? Yeah, there you go. What did we just paste? Did we, did we paste the colliders? There we go. So now we paste all the colliders into the normal mode. So if we go inside a normal mode, everything is. Oh god, what was that? Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Whoa, 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 what? Oh crap. Why are those like that? We have an ever so slight issue. Don't know why they did that. Then Shh. 
sure, I guess. It's there. I'll just redo this quickly. This. Okay, that was kind of weird. As long as I can't break out, you know. Can I break out through here? No, I can't. Okay, awesome. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Everything fine over here? It seems so. Okay. So let me take all that. Take that. Delete it. Okay, there we go. So now we got this scene. All perfectly fine. There we go. Boom. And then can we collide with this thing? Nope, we cannot. Or yes, we can. There we go. Perfect. That's all we needed. And then all we gotta do now is just jump off. Whee! We fall to the infinite universe. There we go. Perfect. Then we save that scene. Save as. Save as. Scenes as normal. There we go. Then we go back to scenes. Okay. And then for the last scene, so we have the warning scene, and then we have the, the last scene, which the last scene is going to be the most crazy one, which is the cool one. I'm going to have to. Battlefield 1, it's the best game ever. You should try it. Comrade. <laughs> Joe, I'll ask you one more time. Who or what are your thoughts on SCP-66? I have no idea who SCP-66 is. Sorry to tell you that. I might actually, but I don't know. Okay, so let's go back to warning. So this is going to be the best part. The reason why it's going to be the best part is because we get to add in... He gets add in effects and stuff like that. We get to add in little effects here and there. Colliders. Uh, cubes. Um. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in some standard assets, effects, image effects, no, not effects, uh, particle systems, prefabs, afterburner, hmm, that does sound pretty cool. Explosion, dust, fireworks, flare. So basically we can add in some sort of like flare effects everywhere. I can add. Let's go ahead and make that global. 
Why the hell is that not working? So if we do that, I say maybe add one. there and then we'll bring in a collision collider we'll bring in a cube what oh, is weird pretty much gonna be hitting everything over here but as you look it's not really gonna be it doesn't really look that good because it's in a certain location hmm okay you know, technically speaking that doesn't make too much sense but Yeah, technically speaking, it doesn't make too much sense, but you know what? Doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't make too much sense, but you know, whatever. Whatever looks good, you know? Whatever looks good. Well, that looks a little bit too much. Let me decrease. Let me decrease. Uh, where is... Is this the flare? Which flare is that? That's that one. So what I'm going to do for this one, I want to... Decrease the intensity of the freaking sparks because these sparks are a little bit too crazy right now. Let's put it to probably I say about 20. Yeah, there we go. And then we just bring them back over here. This one will be part of pretty much. I see right there. Because of the colliders so for certain areas with the colliders you want to probably colliders right oh oh that's right what why did that change what seriously the hell did the rotation script like that now I have to freaking check the other place to 
let's see what the problem is. If the problem is that. If this thing keeps on persisting, I might as well just switch back to um, the other thing. Okay, so then we got that. So now. Okay, now can we freaking save it? Okay. And then I can add in some flickering lights. Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. Didn't want to do that. Fuck. Um, I wanted to say this is a new project. This one will be... Uh, this one will be... Danger. That's what I wanted it to be. And then when I go back to... So that's normal. How are the colliders? Colliders are fine. Okay. Good. Everything's fine. Danger. Morning. Danger. Okay. And then danger has the flares in it, which I didn't want the flares to be inside there. So this is, this is danger. Okay, everything looks fine. Okay. And then now, and then yeah, for danger, we just save. We go to, oh no, sorry, that was warning, sorry. Wait. Did I fuck it? I did, didn't I? Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! I didn't want to. F God damn it! Okay, screw it then. We're making this one. Uh, danger, danger two. See us. Then we'll make this one. Warning. There you go. And we'll just call this back to danger. There we go. Boom. Done. There we go. So now we have warning. Normal. Warning. Danger. Okay. And then danger is gonna... Danger is gonna have um, pretty much the flashing lights. There's not gonna be too many flashing lights. It's gonna be more sparky. And the lights are gonna be flickering like crazy. Some lights are not gonna exist. So for example, for example, um, most of these lights aren't going to, actually, yeah, they will. I want that light. I want these two to disappear. I want this one to be here. I don't want any... I don't want any animation on this one. This one's eight. So 
delete that. This one's actually going to have a bigger impact. To emphasize pretty much the, the flickering effect on this. And then which one's this one's 15. Okay, so let's go to 15. You go back to animation. This one's gonna be called Flicker. Flicker. Flicker light. There we go. Pretty much this one's gonna have the most effects to it. Zero. Zero. back Oops, sorry I'm gonna put that one to that so it's like that I guess we can put that so it goes back to zero. It's still at zero. Change it back up to that. So you're just trying to make it a little bit more sporadic. Okay, and then we just Zero flicker zero flicker again, so it's just like a I think that looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? It's not a bit more. 
It's a bit more freaky. A bit more freaky with its, uh, you know, its flicker in here and there. that go to pretty much this right here We have to create another flicker. What is that? That is light two. Light two, delete that one. Create one, we call this flicker. Flicker light two. This one will make this uh, 100 samples. We're pretty much just pasting the exact same thing, except we're putting it. So, Samples, it's about 40, right? this spotlight two spotlight two is going down which one's that that one's point lights just regular point light and then we just put can we put Flickering light two onto this. See what happens. Why is this one not working?
Which one is this? Light one. It's not what I want. Point light. Huh. That should work now. Yeah, there we go. There we go, that's looking more creepy than ever. Obviously, we're going to be deleting that, 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 that. Maybe then we can start adding in some uh, skybox. Center assets, flames, uh, particle system. Nope. Steam? Steam Mobile. Might be a very subtle thing, but still might look good in a way. Maybe. Maybe not. Add that in, and then we add in a hose? What is that? A 
suppose. What does that do? Wildfire? Fire complex. Does nothing. And that steam only lasts there for The steam disappears too. Why does the steam disappear? It's probably the reason why. Does it continue on? Yep, let's continue on forever. Okay. So then what we do is then we decrease it to probably right around here. Increase it by one. So that way it looks like it's coming from there. And then we take fire. What is what is a wildfire? Wildfire might not be something. Uh, what about fire complex? That looks like something. Oh yeah, it's something. Yeah, it's something, all right. So if we can actually put... If we can put the fire, like, right around here. Then we get that. Sort of like a, like a little fire breakout right around up there. But then it also disappears, so then I need to... Yeah. an explosion hmm can I make it repeat the explosion Be able to. 
So then let's try to... Give this thing animation. Give it to that as well so that those two are like flickering. Then we got steam there fire up there oh we should add in some fire over here uh, okay add in some f like a nice fire effect over here so it looks like something's burning over there um, skybox Particle systems, prefabs, add some fire right here. We need to um, we need to scale these way up. Size, where is size? Size, 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 size. Size over lifetime. Can I make this bigger? Maybe a atmosphere, maybe a box. Five. Now, why isn't the fire coming out? Okay, there we go. So then the actual mission itself will be like fucking fifty. Max particles would be about a hundred. And so if I do the same thing... ...to basically everything else... ...then I 
scale everything way up. Same thing with this cone. I'm gonna make this into a box. Going to rotate some of that. Increase the length. Be about 50. This will be about 500. And then a dark smoke will be about box well. Just trying to get this fire to look the best it can. Emission so twenty about fifty. So now we have like pretty much this. <laughs> This fire here. Nice little fire still. Could still make it look better though. That's the fire. We got that, we got that, we got the Glow, smoke, the light itself, which is just what is the range of this? Okay. Missions twenty hundred. There we go. Sparks falling. Of course, again, got to make it a uh, box. We got to do this like twice, two more times. Just about two more times. Sparks rising. Shape. Box. Do that. Increase that. And increase the admissions. Oh, shoot. Can make that like 200 or something. Max particles, 200. There we go.
add in another one right in front of it. Okay, never mind, that's a little bit too much. Delete that, and then boom, yep, and then we can just, uh... Yeah, we can just keep that there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we pretty much got majority of the stuff. It's definitely looking like creepier. Um, we can make this. We can change this. We can create a game object capsule. No, not a capsule. Game object, a cylinder. Can we make the cylinder dark? Default material. Can I? Make a new material. Uh, material. Call this dark. And the dark material will just be white. Or, not dark, it will just be black. So that way we can get this. Dark material, put it there. Sounds good to go. Then, yep. Okay. So I think that is pretty good. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good for the, um, for the, uh, whatchamacallit? For the danger one, or the pretty much destruction one. Pretty much destruction one. So we're gonna save this here. Scenes. We're gonna call this one danger, and I believe we are most likely done. Okay, so we got the normal one. We're gonna play that until so pretty much this is the normal one. You know, all perfectly fine, all nice and dandy, all normal, beautiful. And we got that. So pretty much, yep, everything that's needed, everything is fine, it's well lit, all that stuff. And then the second one is the warning one, which is this one. Which is, you know, all the lights flickering, you're trying to get to a certain area, you're going, you're leaving. There it is. Pretty much this. Beautiful. And then finally we have the danger one, which is the freaking coolest one. All the sparks, all the lights, it's very creepy, I assume. Creepy, all the sparks, freaking flames over there. I suppose I should put more, like, light emphasis on that area over there. Because it's not, it's not lit up. It's definitely not lit up. That area right there, yeah. It should be lit up, but for some reason it's just, it's not. So, we should uh, add in more. 
Uh, does this one have? I hope this one doesn't have. What is that? Another spotlight? Oh, that's spotlight. Point light. Actually, in fact, no. Could add in. Yeah. Point light. And this will just be mad yellow. Just like that one. Not the same type of yellow, though. If I can get like a. That's the yellow? What? It's more like an orange. Ah, okay, I see. So it brings like kind of like a yellow tint to it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think that's looking better. Can I time some of the kids? Well, I'm going to be uh, leaving the stream now. So pretty much, yeah, that is it for now. That is pretty much it for now. I wasn't paying too much attention to the, uh, to the live chat, but thank you all to everyone who stuck with us through the entire stream. This is pretty much how it's gonna look now for the uh, certain areas in the danger mode. It's all for all three different scenes. So I think it looks pretty cool. So far, I think it looks really, really nice. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. There we go. Yep, let me just save that. Save the scene and boom, we are done. So yeah, I got a lot of work done. So then I should be able to show this, and then hopefully I'll be able to get like a, like a, a whatchamacallit thing, um, HTC Vive, because my, my, my teacher, uh, he was telling me about the HTC Vive, and then we can get like the HTC Vive and just use it, because I, I definitely want to see how the room looks like in danger mode. Oh god, that'd be so freaky and cool at the same time. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is pretty much it. Pretty much it. Pretty much it, pretty much it, pretty much it. Okay. Yep, 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 that is it. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. I gotta go now. I gotta go now. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. Bye-bye.